Welcome to Weld.com. I have the opportunity to, to play around with a piece of equipment here. I want to, I want to give it a test ride. Um, I've, done, I've done some MIG welding with it. I really like the features that this has. It runs really smooth. Uh, I've run some 030 uh, ER70S6 with 7525 shielding gas. I ran a little gasless wire with it. It ran fine. But now I want to play around with the uh, stick welding side. I want to, I want to, I want to stick, put some 6010 electrode in here and run a root uphill. I might run part of it downhill just to just to kind of stick and gouge and see what these arc features are and see if it'll see if it'll hang with me. And then I want to uh, do a hot pass, pretty hot, 100 amps or so, and uh, see what that happens. See what happens with that as far as the uh, the cleaning out this slag and and see what kind of bead profile we get. I want to finish the weld with uh, 7018. So I'm going to be making some adjustments. First thing. First thing we want to do is uh, I want to go to the stick side here uh, and select my stick electrode. And then I want to go up to parameters. And I have an arc force feature here. I've gone ahead and set that at 50%. If I'm on 6010, I want a digging violent type of arc and I really want to gouge this in and kind of see what it's going to do for a bead profile on the root. Hit that again. I have a hot start feature here. I'm going to set that at 90% because I do want it pretty hot. I could go to 100. It probably wouldn't make very much difference. But that is a nice feature, especially when you want um, uh, a good hot start, good crispy start on 7018 and a fill and a cap. I need to select my electrodes. So I have all other, which would indicate the 6013, 7014, 7018, but I need to change this down to the 6010, 6011, and I'm gonna save that, and we're done. Now I've already set myself at 75 amps. My material is 3 8 beveled plate. I have roughly a, a, a 3 30 second root face simply because I, I've got uh, probably about a 3 30 second opening. And again, I want to stick this thing in here and create a keyhole. I, I just, I'm curious to know how this is going to run. So I'm, I want to give this machine a ride here. Just let me get some gear. I'll be right back. I'm ready to make this weld. I want to go uphill first just to, just to kind of feel what this machine is going to do. I may need to stop and make a, an adjustment. I don't know. Um, but my rod angle, I want to be pretty well straight in. I'm going to be looking for a keyhole around this rod, and I want to hear some penetration. I will probably stop and run a little bit of this downhill just to see what this thing feels like downhill, too. And at that point, I may turn the amperage up. So here we go. So far, this is running in pretty nice. I'm pushing on this electrode pretty good. It's got a keyhole around the rod. I know I'm getting 100% penetration. That felt pretty good. Um, probably ran a little bit further than I wanted to. I'm gonna turn around and, and make this downhill a little bit, just the same thing. I think I wanna go ahead and turn myself up five amps. I've done about uh, two thirds of this uphill and I, I wanted to stop. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of this downhill with the same setup. It's not my normal setup that I would do, but I'm, I'm pretty confident. I'm, again, I'm just kind of testing the, this, the feel for this machine to see what it's going to do in these open roots. And I'm going to weld a little bit of this downhill. And the way I do that, my, my preference is I point the rod uphill about 15, 20 degrees or so, and I 
put enough pressure on here to almost bend this rod. That's how I get the, the good fill and the penetration in here. Now, so far this is reacting very nice. I like the arc on this. That to me felt like a, a good keyhole around the rod. I was watching just above it. Nice little V, it was filling in nicely. Um, I think, you know, I could make some adjustments with this machine and I'd be pretty comfortable doing anything uphill, downhill, uh, horizontal. Uh, I, I'm, I'm real confident that we'd get 100% penetration in about any situation given a few adjustments, up or down five amps or so. I'm going to clean this up. I'll come back and do a, a hot pass real quick. I've cleaned this out. I, I just buffed it out. I didn't do any grinding at all. Uh, I want to do an uphill hot pass first, about 95 amps. Uh, basically what I'm looking for here is I just want to see how much this arc is going to dig down inside there. The whole purpose of a hot pass is just to clean some slag out and leave some leave a uh, flat bead in here so we can go back with our low hydrogen 7018 rods fill and cap it. I'm gonna run the last part of this downhill. Um, again, I'm just looking to see what the arc features are in this machine and what the weld pool is gonna react like. The downhill hot pass, I tend, to, I tend to stick it in and gouge it a little bit, lift it up so that I'm looking at arc voltage here to increase, make the pool expand, drive that slag up above the Weld pool. Got a little uh, long arc there. Arc blow. And that was from the rod. We have the flux not centered on the rod. Kind of blew out to one side. It's okay. It's right where I was stopping. I'll go clean it out and grind it out real quick. Be right back. I cleaned our uh, groove out from our hot pass. Also, I had a little bit of a uh, arc blow here. I went ahead and buffed that out and actually repaired it. It left a little bit of a hole. Uh, normal, things happen. It, it was because of the electrode. I made a couple of machine adjustments here because I'm switching over to 332nd 7018. So I, I, I changed my amperage down to 75 amps. I, I left the hot start alone I did take the, uh, the arc force and I turned that back down to 20%. I want this to be a little softer arc. Also, you know, I mentioned a, a second ago, I ran into a, uh, an arc blow situation and I noticed that the electrode was not centered in the flux. And then as I pick up this electrode that I intended on using, I noticed two things. Number one, the flux has gone off the end. And number two, uh, I'm looking at it and there's a crack right here and it's opened up. I could probably just peel that away very easily. So this, is, uh, this electrode is not good. So I wanna set that one aside. I could still use this. I could go over and cut this off right here and use the rest of it. This one looks to be okay. I'll start with it. Big noticeable, uh, big difference I noticed here right away in the um, 
arc force running these two different electrodes, but we made the adjustment and took the arc force out, left the hot start. Uh, this is pretty smooth. I like this. This machine is very responsive, uh, very user friendly. Pretty easy to set. It does have some advanced features. I do like that. Hey guys, today's episode so, is brought to you by Napotnik Welding Supply. They're giving away an ESOB Rebel machine just like this used in today's episode. Uh, for a chance to win this machine, sign up to their email list. Let's get back to welding. Yeah, this is nice and smooth. I like this. I'm keeping a short arc. I'm actually dragging this electrode. I can feel it dragging the previous weld, trying to pause on the sides. We'll come to the end of our electrode. I think I want to, uh, I think I want to clean that out and come back and do a cap just on this portion here to show the multi-process weld we've completed. So we've, uh, we've wire wheeled, buff dyed our weld here. Uh, again, I came back and I ran a fill pass. I made some machine adjustments to kind of uh, soften up this arc a little bit. I really like what I see as far as the features of the, of the arc and the, the settings and the control. Uh, so I've left this purposely underfilled so I can use my beveled edge as a, as a guide. Now I want to run the last pass in here, put a cap in it. It's a very smooth arc. Because of that, I'm using a motion that's just straight back and forth. I'm really kind of attacking those sides. Kind of want to experiment to see how this builds up with this motion here. Staying right on the leading edge of the pool, which is what you should do all the time with 7018 anyway. Again, for the viewers, I, I can almost I can feel the rod just barely dragging on the previous weld. I don't want to gouge this rod in here, but... I'm going to stop right there uh, just to show the multi-process. I haven't, I haven't taken this slag off of here yet, but I just, just feeling this rod and the way it ran and looking at the pool, I'm pretty confident with this. Um, I don't need to beat this slag off of here. I know that I could just flick it off there and it's gonna fall off. I could see that, I could tell the way it ran. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, real, I'm real happy, I'm real confident with this machine. I, I think if I spent some time on it, uh, these results are repeatable. This is, this is cool. So let me buff this off and I'll be right back. So um, to review here, I ran the uh, route, got 100% penetration. I, I experimented with going uphill and downhill. Uh, same thing on the hot pass, uphill and downhill. Uh, made some machine adjustments and softened up the arc, dropped the amperage back a little bit. Did a fill pass with 332nd low hydrogen electrode 7018 and then did the the cap um, and I, I just ran one rod just to show you the, the multi-process a um, couple of things this is my slag peel off of the cap it just it just came right off it is consistently smooth on the top outside which is impressed me you can almost see the ripple pattern same way with the bead I mean this was uh, this this cap pass went in here pretty nice. Uh, we can check that with a flashlight. We have no undercut. Uh, really nice looking bead profile. It's got good, uh, good roundness to it. We're not up above the parent metal by any means of, of uh, we're well within the eighth of an inch. I, I think it's a very nice looking bead on the top. Uh, same way on the back. We've, we've got some nice penetration. So, um, Again, you know, this is giving a, a machine a test ride. Never, never ran this before, and it's it's really fun. This is a, a Rebel multi-process. This is a this is a fun machine to run. I think for a hobbyist, 
uh, light industrial maintenance. I'd, I'd be real confident taking this machine anywhere uh, to do multi-process work. So uh, again, I hope this helps. Uh, just some of the things that we can do with various types of welds, go in and make repairs, go make production welds. So again, nice arc features on, on all the processes that, that we've run on this uh, particular machine, especially the stick. I, I mean, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the way the arc and the, and the electrodes and everything responded. So uh, again, I, I hope this helps some of the viewers in there if they're wanting to practice procedure welds and whatnot. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Bob Moffitt with Weld.com. Subscribe to the videos. We'll come out with new videos every Monday.